or day vlog. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to start off by doing my review for Joker. And, um, uh, yeah, so sorry if it's, like, kind of quick and choppy. Um, but basically, I've already filmed this twice now. Um, both ones were, like, half an hour long, and I just didn't really want them to be too long. But there's so, mu so much I want to say about this movie, but I kind of have to contain myself and not uh, talk too much. So, uh, yeah, just so you guys know, if it seems like there's a lot that I'm holding back or whatever... Um, there's a lot that I, I want to say on this movie, but it's gonna, it would be, it would take, it would take forever. It'd be like a, it would be like the length of, like, my Deadpool 2 or Avengers Infinity War review. Um, so yeah, so basically just a quick review. Sadly, I don't really want to do a quick review, uh, but I just feel like I kind of have to, um, so I don't, like, uh, send myself into a panic attack or whatever, um, for just stressing myself out too much. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... Uh, basically, um, just real quick, uh, so the schedule is kind of weird right now because you guys know the end of, uh, the season of Fortnite, um, it, season X is this Sunday, um, and every other season has ended on a Wednesday, and my schedule is Monday and Friday, so that kind of makes it easy, uh, to post, like, um, my videos on the, like, uh, the, um, end of season, like, uh, results video along with the end of season, like, event video. Um, cause usually they're about a week apart and it ends like around my schedule and stuff. Uh, but this time the end of the event is actually on the last day of the season. Um, and it will just go right into patch note or I mean, uh, patch notes and the downtime for the next season. Uh, so yeah, so what I'm planning on doing is just filming the end of season results video, uh, earlier and posting it probably this Friday. And then, um, and then the, uh, event of course when it happens and then posting it the next day after on that Monday. And then this day vlog probably next uh, Friday, but I guess we'll find out, but you guys will already know, because it will already be up. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, but yeah, so Joker went to the theaters this past Friday. Um, I went and saw it on Monday, and right now it is actually uh, 2.15 in the morning. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've been, I've been filming this since like almost, like since almost 12.30, so... Uh, that just shows you that, um, but, uh, yeah, so, basically, it's directed by Todd Phillips, who has also directed, um, movies, like, small, uh, smaller movies, but also, like, the Hangover Trilogy, and a movie that I really like, uh, called War Dogs, of course, um, and it stars Chocon Phoenix, um, Zazie Beetz, uh, uh, Robert De Niro, of course, you guys probably know at least Robert De Niro, and, um, maybe Chocon Phoenix and Zazie Beetz, uh, Zazie Beetz played Domino on Deadpool 2, um, and Jocon Phoenix, I actually like him quite a bit as an actor, because he was on, uh, Her, and Don't Worry, You Won't Get Far on Foot, and a few others that I've seen, but I can't really remember the rest. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, just real quick, I will have, um, just, like, for my overall thoughts, basically, for the review, to keep it short, uh, first off, I absolutely love the soundtrack, I really love the, like, the symbolic, the symbolic scenes, and, uh, like, just, like, kind of showing him, like, falling into his own sanity and stuff. Um, I think all the characters were pretty darn good, um, in just the scenes where he was murdering people or whatever, including his own mother, um, and whatnot, um, it's just, like, it's so disturbing, and, yeah, like, if, if you, um, if you, like, uh, gen genuinely don't like that or are really, like, uh, offended by it, then you probably won't like this movie. If you're one of the people that think this movie is encouraging violence or whatever, uh, then probably don't watch it because then, you, uh, I, I'm not saying that it does. I don't think it does. I think all that stuff is dumb. Um, but it's not, but it, it definitely is very, uh, disturbing on the, uh, murder scenes, but it's very, very cool at the same time because the lighting and the soundtracks is just amazing. Um, the main Joker theme is, like, this, like, deep va bass violin, and, um, yeah, and just so great, and also, like, he, uh, he, a lot of people are saying he should be nominated for an Oscar, or at least, or win an Oscar, um, and I really think so, too, because, first off, he really committed to the role, he lost about 52 pounds for it, um, because he wanted, he wanted, Jaquan Phoenix wanted to look like a bigger Joker, since there's never really been a bigger Joker, um, but, uh, Todd Phillips wanted him to be, like, looking like a hungry wolf or whatever, he said. Um, so, yeah, so he's pretty darn scrawny and bony in here, um, in the movie. Uh, but, so, yeah, so he lost, like, 52 pounds, but also he studied people with PBA or pathological laughter or crying. 
Um, and yeah, so whenever he gets like really nervous, uh, he'll start just like laughing uh, hysterically and like start choking and gagging. And on this one scene, he's uh, like a lot of autistic or people with autism or whatever in real life, uh, if they have like a mental breakdown or whatever, so people don't just think they're like crazy or just throwing a temper tantrum. Uh, they'll give like a little net laminated card or whatever to like explain it or whatnot uh, when they can't do it themselves. Um, so yeah, so he did that on one scene. Um, and uh, yeah, so, um, but yeah, just the flickering lights on a lot of it is really, really cool. And it just like all the like just mystery and stuff. And they've confirmed that this is a solo movie. There's, uh, it does kind of end on a cliffhanger, um, but he said it's just like left for the fans to interpret themselves. Um, and honestly, I think this works really, really well as a solo film. And I can say, honestly, this is probably my favorite DC movie uh, ever made. And I'm pretty sure I've seen most of them. I mean, I've even seen, like, the DC movies that most people don't think are DC movies, like Watchmen and V for Vendetta, um, which are actually technically DC movies. Um, and also, like, all the old ones. I saw the original, like, the original, original Batman movie, um, Dark Knight Trilogy, uh, the whole DCU. I think the only movie I haven't seen from DC so far is Aquaman. I haven't seen the new Aquaman yet. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's literally it. it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just absolutely love this movie. I mean, there was n pretty much no times where I wasn't entertained. And, like, as a big film person myself and everything, just seeing all the, like, shots and lighting and sounds and everything that, uh, Todd Phillips and the whole crew used, um, and how much Jaquan Phoenix, uh, went for it, it was just absolutely amazing, so yeah, so honestly, I, uh, I was, like, planning on going and seeing this movie, but then I was just like, oh, I can just wait to rent it, but then I watched a little bit more on it, and I was just like, all right, yeah, I actually want to go see it, and yeah, I'm so happy I did, um, so yeah, if you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out, um, I think in theaters, it definitely, uh, makes a big, uh, big thing, um, but yeah, just really watch out for all the symbolic scenes and whatnot of, uh, like, especially with the staircase that he has to go up, up and down for his apartment, like, kind of, like, shows him up, going up every once in a while, and he's, like, all gloomy and looks unhealthy and whatnot, and, and like, all of a sudden, once he fully becomes the Joker and is, just, like, just going into full insanity mode, uh, he's going down the stairs, and that's when he's, like, dancing to, a. uh, uh, uh uh, rock and roll part two or whatever it's, it's the song that um, my marching band uh, played back when I was in high school uh, like at the games and whatnot um, but uh, yeah he's like dancing down the stairs and like he just like he's like the Joker full-on mental but at the same time he looks like he he just seems more healthy and happy than the rest of the movie um, but uh, yeah and also I just love the scene like uh, at, at the end, like, or towards the end, um, right before the most, like, shocking scene in the movie that I was talking about, um, he just, like, said the whole thing that the movie's really about, and he uh, was just like, want to hear another joke, and then he's, uh, um, uh, Robert De Niro's character, um, the late night show host, uh, I can't remember his name right now, um, but, yeah, he, uh, um, he said, no, I think we've had enough. Um, cause at that time he was like admitting to that he killed the people on the subway and like he was just admitting to everything and laughing about it and whatnot. Um, but then all of a sudden he was just like, he just like started yelling and he was just like, what do you get when you, uh, when you, um, or what do you get when you, um, just ignore and, st and just like step over and, uh, and make fun of a, uh, mentally challenged, um, person or something like that. Um, I can't really remember the full line, but it was just basically like just he was just saying like what do you get when uh, society just completely uh, like throws away a, um, a not as uh, not as um, uh, not as a uh, kind of uh, f uh, fortuned person or whatever uh, you want to say and then you just yell what you effing deserve and then uh, yeah that's when the most shocking scene <laughs> happens um, and, uh, yeah, so, overall, just definitely go and see it. I loved it absolutely so much. It's, like, exactly two hours, so it's not even that long, but it feels like, I mean, it's, just like, a full story. I think it's, it's an amazing origin story, but, like, I never would have thought I would have seen that great of a story, um, based, like, on a villain, because so far, all we have, like, based on, like, villains is, um, 
like Suicide Squad, and I mean that's not all that amazing, um, especially not the Joker on there. Like Jared Leto's Joker is not that great. Um, so yeah, so uh, overall, I absolutely love Joker um, even more than I thought. I can't wait to get on physical media because I went and saw it by myself. Um, uh, I thought I'd be 18, which of course I'm turning 18 in under 20 days now. Um, but uh, I forgot that you actually just have to be 17 or older. So I went there. I was still like the youngest person in the theater. I went to the 7 p.m. showing. Um, but my, the cashier person was actually a, a girl that I went to school with. So she, uh, she was just she asked for my ID, but she still knew that I was over. She said that she still knew that I was over 17. Um, but since it's her job, she still had to ask for the ID and whatnot. Um, and uh, yeah, but I was still like the youngest person in the theater because uh, um, I'm 17. And then the like I'm pretty sure n nobody in there was under 20. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's kind of good because you don't have like the people just laughing at every single little tiny thing and like the kids like just kind of being annoying. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it for my review. So yeah, so I really want to talk about a lot more. Um, but for once, I figured I would just do like a not uh, non-spoiler review, not like summary review, just a review. Um, so yeah, so. Um, honestly, like, if you guys, uh, want some cons, so I'm not just saying, like, oh, it's perfect, it's, uh, it's just go and see it, it's perfect. Um, um, it, it, I would say go and see it, it's very, very good, but, um, it's not, like, perfect, perfect. Um, but honestly, if I had to think of a con, like, it would be very hard to think of one. Um, I, I don't really know. Honestly, uh, I, I'd, I'd probably just say... Zazzy Beat's character was like she was good, but I feel like the only reason she was really in the movie was to like kind of sh help show Arthur's insanity because like um, you'll see in the movie like why, but I just don't feel like she was fully needed, um, just for one like big shocking scene at the end to fully drive him into being the Joker um, and whatnot. Um, but honestly, like I really just kind of had to think of that one, and I can't really think of much others. Uh, so yeah, so. Uh, yeah, the, overall, that's pretty much it. Um, so, uh, yeah. But that's pretty much it. So now on to the next part of the day vlog. Um, but, uh, yeah. Alright, guys, so next up, uh, it is actually now Friday for me. Um, so, yeah, so it's been actually about a week. Um, so, yeah, so uh, Friday, October 18th for me. Uh, so, yeah, so I kind of forgot about it, but, yeah, I do have to actually, like, post uh, this video today. So... I'm filming this uh, the day of and then editing and posting it. Um, but the reason I decided to is because I think this actually made it pretty short. I kind of waited until today to figure out uh, if anything else is going to come up or whatever. But as of right now, there's absolutely nothing really. Uh, because we still haven't got more ink, so I still haven't gotten to hang up more posters on my movie poster wall. Uh, so hopefully by next day vlog I will get all those hung up. Because I do have a few that I want to hang up and we'll talk about those next time um but uh yeah i do have a new drawing uh as i said in, in the last clip that i was gonna do it i did start i believe the next day and i thought it was gonna take me like three days or whatever but somehow i managed to finish it that night and it only took me like three or four hours and uh once you see it like usually drawings like that like i did like kind of like a portrait type drawing and uh, i del also did one for like iron man of course or kind of like a couple for iron man and one for deadpool and stuff and they usually take like two days at least uh, so yeah, so that's pretty darn good, but also my updated movie collection, so let's just go over that real quick. So, uh, yeah, so only one movie this time, which is, of course, over here, as you can see, I moved around some of the Marvel movies, and that is because I updated to my pretty massive uh, Spider-Man collection here, and yes, I got Spider-Man uh, Far From Home, um, so, uh, yeah. So I just got it on DVD. I got it, I believe, the day it came out. Um, I didn't pre-order it uh, because Marvel is still, or Disney and Marvel or and Amazon are still in there. They're always in this constant fight, as I've talked about many times before, where uh, they just like Amazon doesn't let you pre-order any movie made by Disney, and then um, and then uh, they just they'll let you buy it once it actually is like the release date happens. But until then, you can't pre-order it anything. And there's sometimes, there's like two months throughout the whole year where you actually can. So it seems like they're just fighting for the other ten months of the year. 
Um, so yeah, so I don't really know what that's all about, but I just got the DVD version. Um, but uh, yeah, and I think it is a very cool case. I think Marvel always does really good with her cases, but especially uh, for this DVD, usually DVDs aren't the best uh, case design, but this one's pretty darn cool, because of course you got Marvel Studios, Spider-Man Far From Home right there, connected by like two webs. And then you got Spider-Man and uh, Mysterio fighting like right above the, or right in front of like the bridge. I can't remember what it's called, but the bridge that the final battle took place at. And then, uh, yeah, you got MJ, Nick Fury, uh, Tom, or Spider-Man, uh, uh, or Tom Holland, played by Tom Holland. Um, Peter Parker without his mask on, and then Quentin Beck, or Mysterio without his mask on. And then Happy Hogan right there. And then in the background you got Big Ben and, um and uh the little stark jet um and then on the back you got that little scene right there so uh, yeah but yeah and i also watched it again and as you guys know i don't usually care about the special features too much but there is a few movies that i own that i do and one of them i believe was uh the lego batman movie because it was just really cool like little animated not only like animated shorts but it was like these like kind of drawing shorts and stuff and i just thought they were really cool but this one, as you guys know, as I talked about in my review, uh, there's a lot of deleted scenes, because there was a scene where he was, like, in the, like, kind of Chinese restaurant-looking place, like, beating up crooks, and then, like, the cop was just like, are you going to be the next Iron Man? He was just like, I can't do that. I'm doing your guys' job. Um, and uh, that scene was deleted, and uh, a few others, but there was actually a scene called Peter's To-Do List. Oh, yeah, the, also the scene where he goes to uh, uh, Mr. Delmar's uh, um, sandwich shop. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's this special feature it's called Peter, Peter's To-Do List, a short film, and it's basically just, uh, like a little list of his to-do list before he goes on the trip, and, uh, yeah, it's basically just him running around New York City doing all those, so basically all those deleted scenes are in there, so that's really, really cool, um, and then there's also this other thing, um, as you guys, if you guys have seen this, you'll know that Flash was, like, doing a live stream throughout the whole movie, and, um, at the end there's, like, this little, like, cool little put together little snippet of like pretty much like parts of the movie through flashes like live stream um and it was pretty darn funny and uh pretty darn good so yeah special features are pretty darn good on this and all the special features come with the dvd too so that's pretty epic um and then that is the disc right there um so some nice disc art. So yeah so pretty nice dvd release um if i do say so myself so i'm gonna put that back and we'll be right back Alright guys, so now the very last thing I have to show in this day vlog is the new drawing. So, of course, it is in here, right here. So yes, it is the Joker drawing, um, as I, I don't, I can't remember if I said what it was going to be, but, uh, yeah, it was a Joker drawing. Uh, so yeah, so here it is. So, um, yeah, I actually only drew this, drew this in about two or three hours, um, but, uh, yeah, basically I just drew the, or Joaquin Phoenix, um, Joker, and then I drew, like, the logo and, like, the main quote, my favorite quote from the movie, and, um, yeah, so, uh, right there, of course, I drew Joker, that's actually the only thing outlined on the page, as you guys know, I usually outline, uh, m most of my drawings, at least, um, as you can see, like, with my stylus there, um, because if you guys don't know, um, it's actually, unless if you do, like, a lot of shading and stuff, um, it's actually pretty hard to, make drawings that um aren't like traced to stylus and stuff and i'm not saying like tracing something i'm saying because i freehand all my drawings um but i'm saying like i i freehand all my drawings but then once you color them it kind of really gets rid of a lot of the um like the designs that you made with the pencil and whatnot um so that kind of sucks so then i usually go over with an with a stylus but every once in a while i don't go with a stylus and sometimes they make up for the best drawings um, I think stylists definitely do look good on my, like, car drawings and stuff, but I think on people it looks a lot better when you don't do stylus. As you can see, I did this, and as you guys know, um, I don't think he's too far down. Um, uh, I'll find it real quick. Right, I just looked through and I got scared of it. I thought I lost it somehow, but, um, but I forgot that I don't have it in there. It's one of the drawings that I kept hanging out. You guys know this drawing, uh, probably still my best drawing. Uh, that is not outlined in stylus at all. That is just drawn, um, right there. Um, and I did the same thing with this. Um, the, so the only thing, uh, outlined in stylus is the logo right there. And I think it definitely makes it stand out. And also I did some of, a, a kind of, like, black smearing to make it look all grubby like the actual, like, uh, movie logo does. 
And um, this one I actually didn't like uh, to keep it like straight on the bottoms and tops right there. Um, I actually didn't use like a ruler or anything. Um, because usually I try to freehand anything I can. Um, this one I actually just drew as straight as lines as I could. Um, and then I just drew like the letters in between those two lines and then it ended up pretty darn, uh, straight right there. Um, then of course my little, uh, signature thing there. And then, uh, for the logo I put, I just hope my death makes more sense than my life. Um, and if you're wondering, cause my mom was just like, uh, um, after I posted like on my, uh, my Facebook and Instagram and whatnot, um, and laminate it and everything. She was just like, did you spell sense right and then do all that? And, um, I explained to her that it's kind of like a double meaning word because it's supposed to be spelled like sense, like money. Um, because he was like, he was like, um, kind of like a, a suicidal person at first until he killed Murray and decided that he can just be a psychopath against other people instead. Um... So he, uh, and then also, of course, he was, like, poor and didn't really have that great of a life, so he didn't have a lot of sense in his life. So if you're wondering what that means, it's kind of like a double meaning right there. Um, and then also, as you can see, I did a little more black grubbing up, um, and then on, um, on some of the letters with, like, the long little, like, lines or whatever, I did kind of, like, a little smearing down, so it kind of looks like a bloody mirror or whatever or i guess his makeup kind of smearing off but yeah so then also his hair uh as you guys probably know i'm not the best at hair uh but i feel this is one of my best attempts at hair and i'd say it's pretty darn good um but yeah as you can see he's kind of like uh I, I took this from like a screenshot i can't remember what uh part it was from the movie because it's pretty zoomed in uh, but yeah, I, I, um, it's, like, he was, I believe he was, like, walking, and then he's kind of, like, looking to the side, and, of course, he always, like, kind of walks heavily, so his hair kind of sways, and, so, yeah, so it's kind of, like, swaying off to that side. Um, so as you can see, it's kind of, like, flying off to that side, and then the side's kind of going off to that side as well. Um, but yeah, so I also did some, like, shading right there, made it lighter on both sides, so it actually looks, you can see some depth in there, and it looks like the hair's actually, like, coming out of its roots and whatnot. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it's kind of swaying over there. And then you can see it, like, coming out from, like, back of his head over there, too, and over there as well. And then you can see his little ear right there. Um, and, yeah, it's ma mainly green, but then I also mixed in some black and brown right there, too. Um, but, uh, yeah. And then for his face, of course, just like the Heath Ledger Joker, you can see some of his skin, because, like, his paint's kind of coming off in some parts. Then his little, uh, red eyebrow paint designs are kind of, like, smearing down, as you can see. Then his eyes, I think, were really good. His, the green in his eyes looks pretty darn good. And I also did, like, the little glare thing. Um, and also just the shading around it. I think his eyes really, really pop and look like ha they have a lot of depth without uh, outlining them. And then the nose is probably my most worried part to not trace. Because the nose is kind of hard to make look 3D if you don't trace it. But uh, I'd say I did a pretty darn good job i just did a lot of shading on that side and then some on that side and then i did a little his red makeup on the tip of his nose there and it looks pretty darn good um and then his fulcrum right there and then of course uh joaquin phoenix has like this i don't know if it's a scar or what but uh if it looks like he has two fulcrums if you watch the movie uh joaquin phoenix does have like a little scar right there or whatever um and then his lips with his little smile there um and then, of course, his neck right there with quite a bit of shading just to make his head pop even more. And then his uh, overall red jacket with a lot of shading. And I actually went over uh, some of the lines in there with, like, a violet kind of marker and then sh uh, shaded on top of those just to make it pop a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, I'd say, like, the little collar or whatever you want to call that pops quite well. Um, and then his little yellow undershirt or whatever it's called, yellow vest, and then his green undershirt um and then you can see i actually did the like the do the little diamond design type thing in there so uh, yeah that is my joker drawing so hopefully you guys like that um oh yeah and also you can see his blue diamonds around his eyes and then on this side that one kind of drips down all the way down there um yeah anyway that is my joker drawing so hopefully you guys all enjoyed that and um here we go <laughs> that drawer is like weird um so, uh, yeah, so that's actually pretty much it for this day log. It's definitely one of the shorter ones in a while. I know last one wasn't all that long either, but, uh, yeah, so this one's pretty darn short. I believe even shorter than the last one. Um, so, yeah, so, uh, as I talked about in the beginning of the video, now, uh, even for me, both of the videos I was talking about are up, um, both the Fortnite event video, 
um, which I think, although we didn't get into the event, I still got some footage from it and everything um, from a, another YouTuber. Uh, so yeah, so make sure you go check him out. His name is Kingsy Kings. Uh, he has just a little bit more subscribers than me. Um, so yeah, so I just uh, used his footage um, in a in a I gave him credit in the video and whatnot. Of course, um, because I didn't even have the replay file or anything. Um, so yeah, so couldn't really do that. But overall, if you guys haven't seen that video, I think it's definitely probably the best event video because I mean, it pretty much uh, recaps uh, like it pretty much is like a memoriam for the whole map that now that we have a new one um and then it's also like a little recap of all the events and shows little like the highlights uh from like all the storyline related events with all of us so yeah so it's pretty nostalgic and a very great video i'd say um and then also the fortnite end of season results if you want to check that out i know not a lot of people watch those because those are mainly just like for my memories and stuff and just like for reference if i need to see something that i had back then or whatever um also, just to see how much I've grown, like, say, the world or Battle Royale even or whatnot. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this day vlog. Um, and, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, also I said at the end of the, the event video, I was just like, right now it's in a black hole, so I guess we'll see what happens. Um, but, yeah, so after about, um, I'll probably talk about it more in the end of season results, because this season actually is, unless they extend it, it's actually one of the shorter seasons, because they're usually like 65 to 75 days, but this one started at about 55 days. Um, so yeah, but, uh, yeah, I'll probably talk about more then, um, but for right now, um, uh, what happened basically, if you guys didn't know, um, it got, like, all the trending hashtags, everybody was just watching the, the black hole create the numbers, which created the quote that I put at the end of the video, um, and, uh, yeah, basically everybody, like, some people actually believe that Fortnite was over and stuff, and I was just like, yeah, they're really just gonna do an event and then just shut down the most popular game in the world and just kind of end a lot of people's careers as well <laughs> um but yeah it, it just all of a sudden um me and Brayton watched at one one in the morning for us and uh nothing happened and then we we're just like all right it's either going to be two or it's actually not going to be until thursday um but then all of a sudden it went till two nothing happened for about a minute so i was just like oh my gosh it's actually going to be till thursday they're shutting the game down for about five days straight um but then all of a sudden, about um, two minutes in, all of a sudden, it breaks and game closed, and then it said uh, server's offline. And then about five minutes later, uh, PC started updating, so my, my game started updating, and then Brayton's did. So yeah, so it did happen at two. And then um, I waited for the downtime, shared all the leaks by Hypex with Brayton and Becca. Um, and we were talking about then the discords and whatnot, as always, and... Uh, and, um, yeah, basically we just waited until downtime to get done, then we all download the update, and then we went to bed, and then, because by the time we download the update, it was like, it was like 3.30 or 4 in the morning. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we just, I woke up and then played the, um, update. But yeah, I will talk about that, of course, a lot more on the end of season results video. Um, but yeah, so, make sure to stay tuned till that. Um, but until then, that is pretty much it for this video, so make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.